Oh, good morning, guys. Welcome back. Oh, what a glorious morning. So I'm up here in um, a place called Stourbridge today, uh, which is in the West Midlands. And this area here, which I haven't been to before, um, is locally known as uh, Sheep Walks. And um, yeah, got some nice cool valleys. And some really great light this morning. I should probably get my camera out. But, um, but yeah, it's looking good. I'm here with my friend Steve. Gonna have a little walk around and maybe do some woodland photography later on. So, so yeah, let's get going then. Let's see if we can get an edge. I hope so. So I've come, I've come about two or three feet and already I've seen a shot but I'm not sure how, how good it's going to be. I'm simply just photographing this, this tree which you might be able to see on the right hand side of the screen. Oh wow the sun's coming up now, it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah I'll just quickly set the camera up, can you see me? Quick, quickly set the camera up, I'm at f3.2, I'm at a focal length of what am I at? I'm at focal length of around 50 mil actually. And the light is just peaking above this tree over here. And that's a really, really loud sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a simple shot. Um, shallow depth of the field, automatic timer, 1 40th of a second. Just gonna do one shot, no brackets. Oh, and that light coming through there is, is really cool. Wow, that light is really, really nice. I feel, I do feel rushed this morning, but um, we might have something good. Um, I've moved the tripod over slightly and I've lowered it uh, to close to the ground. Um, I'm trying to do a bit of a different angle. I'll just show you what I'm looking at on screen now. So, as you can see, the sun is just poking above the top left-hand corner of the tree. Uh, so again, well, I'm at F, F3 now. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna take this shot here focused on the tree. Histogram looks okay. Oh dear. And that is the end of the light. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just so typical. That light, well it's still there slightly but we haven't got enough time now to get another composition but that light, light was so brief. Oh, well hopefully we got an image. If we do, you'll just see it on the screen now. Even now, it continues to amaze me how much light can, uh, you know, make uh, what would usually be a rubbish scene look so much better. I mean, this this composition that I just shot now, it just looks a little bit rubbish now, a little bit naff. But with that light, it changes everything. So so important. <sighs> it's a shame that that's all we've had for today. But you never know; we might have some breaks in the cloud later on. It's pretty spaced out up top, so it's still really early. So yeah, uh, but I'm happy to do some, some overcast, you know, woodland style images. So we'll have a look around and we'll see what else there is to shoot. But so far, so good. I think we've got an image there. Well, hopefully you would have, you would have seen it by now. If it is good, drop me a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Not a bad start, not a bad start indeed. Well, let's continue. Right, just a few feet away from the last shot, I've come across this amazing tree, which you probably can't see at the moment because it's such a wide angle lens, but this tree is dead <laughs> by the looks of it, but it just looks amazing. And because we've still got a little bit of color in the sky, I think I'm gonna try and make a shot of it. Right, let's get set up. Just got to watch out for the uh, watch out for the sheep, uh, the sheep poo, which is everywhere. <laughs> I'm also not sure if I want a sheep in my shot. 
They keep staring at me. What's up, man? How's it going? <laughs> okay, this is the shot. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm not really that happy with it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to know until I'm back into into the computer later, but I'm just not feeling it, not feeling the composition. Um, it's just a bit flat, a bit boring. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get a little bit closer and uh, see if I can get some maybe intimate shots without any skying. Um, yeah, let's work on it. Let's work on it and see what we can get. Just got a little bit closer to this tree and it's absolutely spectacular. Check out some of the, uh, some of the bark on this. Wonder if it's still alive. I think it's still alive. Oh my goodness, it smells like pee around here, sheep pee. I can't believe it. The tree is still alive. There's a live vein around the back of the tree, I'll just show you. See this this tree here, this um this vein. This is a live vein. Look at all that dead wood. I know I've said it already, but it absolutely stinks here. This is the local toilet and I've just found another shot. This could be good. <laughs> In the worst of places you find photographs. Okay, let's get set up. I'll show you what I've seen. Looks good. Well, I think I found, found another image. Uh, Got this big old tree on the left and then just through the tree it's almost been framed by these big arms that are coming over i'm not sure how much you can see on the camera but um i'm i'm, I'm positive that there's a there's an image here it's, it's just trying to find it trying to find the right the right the right kind of focal length uh to get the shot that i want um so i'm debating whether to switch to a wide angle lens However, when, when you do use a wide angle lens, anything that you have in the background uh, immediately becomes, becomes smaller. Um, so I'm gonna stick with the 35 to 150 for now. And uh, see if we can get something. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, tricky, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll persevere. And fingers crossed, we'll get something half decent. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Uh, it's been really tricky, but I've been trying to find something that I'm happy with, and I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere. I am, I'm shooting at uh, at f11 now because I've got some, some. Uh, well, I have the tree which is really, really close to to the lens, and then they've got the tree which is really far in in the back as well. So I'll just show you what I have on screen here. So hopefully you can see. So I've got the edge of the big tree that I've that I've showed you before. And then in the back we have this tree here. And we've got this really cool old branches that have fallen. And I think it all adds to it. So the way I'm kind of framing this is, well, I, I am framing it with, with the leaves at the top here and with the branching. And uh, yeah, it's it's a better shot. I'm not sure if it's the best shot yet. I need to work the scene more. But uh, I've just taken a shot at f11, and it was about one and a half seconds the exposure time. So let's um, let's check that everything's sharp because oh, that looks, that looks really sharp. So I'm shooting with this new lens as well, um, which is the 35 to 150 by Tamron, and so far it's been so good, really, really good lens. Really happy with it. I think I want to do a focus stack just to be sure because I'm not confident f11 has got everything sharp that I want to be sharp so um, let's mix it up do a focus stack but hopefully hopefully this image looks okay so fingers crossed
So boyos. Right, so I found a found a quick shot just on our way to the next section, and it's just a simple line of trees that I've kind of composed relatively close to each other. Uh, I think it might work with a bit of editing. It'll it should bring it alive. I'll just show you the back of the the screen now and uh, give you an idea of what I'm what I'm shooting. So, hang on a second. Let me straighten you up. As you can see, I've got the the main subject is this big twisting tree and then in the background you not, might not be able to see but there's another big tree and then there's some sheep in the photo which I haven't decided whether they're going to stay there or not <laughs> but uh, yeah I think it looks quite nice um, with a bit of dodging and burning that might that might come out quite well and um, yeah just a quick snapshot sorry for the shaky camera I'm perched on a ledge here so hopefully that works I'm shooting an F11, ISO 64, and uh, and yeah, looks pretty good. Also, I think that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed some of the footage, some of the photographs that I took. Um, the conditions aren't perfect today. Uh, just wanted to uh, say that from the start. Um, I think with a little bit more light and perhaps some mist, some frost or anything like that, any of those elements, and this area really transforms into an excellent landscape photography uh, location. So, uh, but yeah, I'm happy with the images that we've got. Um, it's uh, it's coming close to autumn now, so the leaves are starting to change, and uh, it's it's all looking really good. But um, but yeah, average conditions. Hopefully, next time we come, uh, we'll have some some better light, and uh, I'll certainly be coming back for sure. So so yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please check check out my Instagram, which is at the bottom of the screen here, uh, and also uh, give it a like if you enjoyed the video, and uh, and consider subscribing also. So so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Cheers.